the first one just turns it on? Yeah, maybe. That, that's weird, you're the top button. Yeah. Turns it on and then it starts recording. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, there I am. Try out the GoPro Hero 9. Christmas gift from me to me. Out here today with Matt, we're getting rigged up. A beautiful day out. It's probably gonna be about 30, no wind and sunny. So we're gonna take advantage. And the possibility of, well, we're kind of going for catfish, right? Yeah. Catfish, there's probably, I mean, there's a chance of crappie, northern walleye, smallmouth, like pike. Sturgeon. Just, sturgeon. I mean, everything's on the on the table. We're really trying to go for a catfish. Yeah, I think if we catch anything, it's gonna be catfish or northern pike. That's usually what we'll get out here. But pike are part, part of a river system. You never know what you'll catch. Pike are kind of everywhere. Yeah. We just got the sleds, no house today. We're gonna do some beautiful outside fishing. So we're gonna walk out and get going. How's it going everyone? I'm back again. I'm out here with my buddy Jacob. I had something right away, come look. Yeah. As I was dropping down, he came up and looked and swam off. There's a big drop off in between here. Cause this is, tw right this is 12, that's 20. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, right away, was not repaired. I really don't know what it is. I put a ripping bait on. Oh, a little pike. A little pike. Is that a pike? Yeah. Oh. Not what we were looking for, but hey, got rid of the skunk at least. Yeah, got him with all the hooks too. Got your players on you by chance? Don't. I think I got him. I got the expert over here to show me how to do this too. I said, geez, that didn't take long at all. He just walked over here like Yeah, there was a mark right away and I was still trying to like actually set myself down. Some different pike stripes on him. They're the worst to hold. <laughs> yeah, those little ones. Ah! Those are the ones that'll put a hook in yeah, too. Yeah. It's action. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, it didn't take long with that ripping bait. Let him go real quick. I didn't figure he was real big when he hooked on and I had time to fiddle faddle around with everything. Yeah. But that, uh... I got all excited. I thought you had a cat on over no, here. No, I had just put a, that ripping chat on and right away he, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the pikes seem to like those things. They do. I just figured maybe if there's a smallie or a pike around or even a walleye, yeah. they might hit that. It's worth a shot. So I'm going to give this hole a few more minutes. I'm going to jump around again. Yeah, I was just about to pack up. I'm thinking I might... If you want, we can... We can even move farther down if you want. Yeah, we can do that. I think maybe give it, maybe try one or two more holes here and then if nothing else, yeah, we could walk around the point down to the channel spot there. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's safe to just walk right across or if we should go around it. Because that point is usually some sketchy ice, but. It doesn't seem too bad though out here, does it? Yeah, your spot stick, I drilled over there quite a ways, I think farther in than where that crappy ice usually is. Yeah. So I think it's probably safe, but <laughs> it, I mean, we can take a few hammers too. When there's a crappy spot over there, it gets crappy quick. I got Mark coming in. Marking one? Marking two. I got a rattle bait though. Looks like a nice mark. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, that's it. They just dropped to the bottom. I had two marks. The problem is I don't have a minnow on. I got that ripping bait. Oh. See, as soon as you come over, they drop to the bottom. Should have probably scared them. Yeah. At sixteen feet, you think? Yeah, maybe. Eh. But they weren't like super aggressive looking at it. Like I was jigging it. They come in. They came on on top, and then I put it on top of them. They got darker. Hmm. 
That's the problem is like if you got the wrong bait down there, you're kind of hosed. Yeah. All right, guys, we're setting up on spot two. Matt's drilling over there. I'm also going to drill. The first part, we got a couple marks that I think were pike. I got that one little one. We're going to go from here probably to shore and check depths and see if we hit the river channel. It's gorgeous day. We lost our sunshine, but maybe that'll help us. There's nothing looking at it, but my tip up is set here in 21 feet of water. The yellow mark is my split shot. The red mark is my minnow, and we're just off the bottom. It's going to freeze just a little bit, so I got my line tie below the ice. So if it does freeze a little bit, it doesn't have to go through that first layer of crust. So hopefully we get a anything but pike on this line. Preferably a catfish. I've never caught one before, and that's kind of my goal this winter. I guess my first catfish. He was just there. I have no idea what it is either. Ah, oh, stupid pike again. Another pike? Yes. Uh, is that the same one you caught last time? I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped down and I was getting set up again. Uh, stupid little things. Well, at least we're not getting them in our mineral lines. Screwing that up. Yeah. There's nothing to hold on to on these little ones, is there? Yeah, not really. Yeah, I still don't have the layers on me. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> there we go. Look at these little guys. Come on, they're right. Kind of pale looking compared yeah. to the other one. Yeah, the other one I thought was kind of the same. Yeah? Hmm. Aggressive little guys. Yeah. Well, that's two to one, Matt. I wouldn't say I'm out fishing you, but... Yeah, you can have all those little pike. <laughs> A little action is a little action, right? Yeah. That makes me hopeful. We've only been over here at the second spot for about a minute. I didn't even mark that one. There, just again ripping this uh, same Northland Pink Tiger ripping shad. I think it's the number two size. It's been a hot go to lure this, this uh, year so far for artificial baits, so. Might as well keep ripping it. I hope it's there. Oh yeah, it's pinned, isn't it? Or is that just because it's... Oh, he's there. I feel something. I did get him. I have no idea. You feel big? Uh, not huge. The way you took it down, I'm guessing pike, but... It doesn't... Know. Maybe it's a walleye. Could be. I, I don't... Or a smallie. A bass, maybe? It doesn't really feel like a pike, but I could be wrong. That's... Yeah, I think it's a pike family. Yeah. Oh. Got real excited over nothing. Oh, I know. Can't get them started up. Come on. Not super concerned if I lose them. <laughs> the same little one again. You can keep catching them. <laughs> He's a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Hey, it's some action though. Um, otherwise, slow day. Yeah. You got your players this time? Yes, I do. Looks like a pretty easy hook release if I can get in there. I can't believe it took this long for a pike to come grab one of those. We've had these tip down sitting here for probably two hours. Now. I know. Open your slimy mouth. You can see the line marks where he rolled in it yeah. across his face. Yeah, that one might need a retie. <laughs> <laughs> 
see if I can actually get a decent uh, hold on them. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Got Matt in the background. We're looking at each other. Does that make it bigger? I haven't caught any fish, so I gotta use Jacob's fish <laughs> for my video. Huge if you go like this. Yeah. All right, I'll let you go. It's gotta be like a 40 incher. Well. All right, it's some action. That's not what we want, but I'll- get too excited when you see that rod dip on the foot down. It, it didn't really feel pikey right away, but. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a bass. I thought it was gonna be a, a walleye or a bass myself too. Hoping catfish. I was hoping he nibbled down there and decided to swim off with it, and that's why the rod dip like that. But. I don't know if you can tell, there's definitely a, a line nick right there. Yeah. Warm my hands up, retie. It's been a couple of days where we had like five or six cats in by like 9 a.m. over there. Every time you tell me that and we go out here, we don't catch don't anything. Catch. <laughs> Maybe they've all died off or something. I don't know. I mean, they're all big. Yeah, they are. They gotta, they gotta die eventually. It uh, it's pretty out here. Hoping not though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a bad day at all. No, I got to test out my new GoPro Hero Nine. Let's yeah. see. I am on. So those green marks. The one on the left has got my video card, right? So I got a lot of room left. Yeah. On that. Oh yeah. And the battery. Have you is... been running that 32 gig card all day? Yeah. I haven't run continuously. As you can see on oh, the back side. Oh no, yeah, you got like 53 minutes left. Oh yeah, it shows on the back. And my battery's at 46%. I've had it on standby. I say, you must only have like an hour worth of recording on there, don't you? But still, that battery, not to change it out at 46%. Yeah, yeah. So I think we started with uh, 85 after downloading the software. I mean, being out in the cold all day, you can have a fresh battery and it'll go down to zero in like 10 minutes. I know, I'm pretty impressed because my, my old setup was uh, the Hero 4 and they last like five minutes. So this might be my new setup for ice fishing. I don't know, we, we gave it a shot. I didn't get skunked. My hats are crazy because I've been wearing a hat cam. Can't say we didn't try. Uh, we got out a nice day. New Year's Day. We got some snow to contend with. And uh, we'll catch you guys shortly. We've been super busy in the shop. So I think we're going to try for perch coming up. I don't know if there's going to be a video on this or not. I can edit that out because I'm just talking to myself at this point. Let's get another look at the snowfall here. Good way to bring in 2021. Let's try this. What do they call it? The hyper smooth? Yeah, is that what it is? You know, my screen went away. I wanted to do that. Oh. Just made myself dizzy. 